good thing that wasn't a choir competition. Let's try that again, but this time with subtitles. That's a little better. So, as you just read, that was Southern Oregon University at the NAIA National Championships. The boys team got third place. Very impressive. And um, I know you're thinking, but that wasn't the awkward video of the week. This is... Awkward Video of the Week. Cross country season is winding down as well at Elliott Golf Course. Both the AA boys and girls cross country teams hope to advance to sectionals next week. In the boys, we had some controversy. Watch closely. Hananiga's Ryan Jacobs is running well, but is run into by one of the slower runners. Jacobs literally pushes him out of the way. However, Sycamore's Derek Campbell ends up winning the race. Now, could that have been a factor for Jacobs not winning? Well, it could have been. Jacobs finished second by one of the slower runners. Jacobs literally pushes him out of the way by one of the slower runners. Jacobs literally pushes him out of the way. Yes, that was probably my favorite awkward video of the week thus far. It was actually awkward, unlike a lot of these. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So I've been talking about Border Clash the last few weeks. We told you it was going to be sweet. If you haven't had a chance, come check out our coverage. Uh, BorderClash.com, the official site hosted right here on Runner Space. It's sweet, I promise you. And now it's time for the... Runner Space Rundown. It's the High School Rundown. This past Sunday at the Nike World Headquarters campus in Beaverton, Oregon, the top high school runners from Oregon and Washington squared off to see which state is better in the 11th Nike Border Class. And the winner was, drumroll, Washington. They destroyed Oregon, going 1 through 10 on the men's side, with a perfect score of 15 to Oregon's 50. The women's side was also won by Washington with 19 points to Oregon's 44. Washington girls had 15 of the top 16 runners. The lone Oregonian to crack the top 10 was Anna Marie Mogg of Jesuit High School, who was second with a 16.38 for the 4400 meter course. The overall winner on the girls' side was freshman Amy Eloise Neal from Glacier Peak. She came out on top in a close four-person race over Anna Marie Mogg, Anna Daly, and Katie Knight. The guys' individual race was won by Shane Moskowitz, who introduced our show a couple weeks ago. It was an awesome race. There were live animals, fireworks. They started the race with a cannon. Come check it all out on the official Border Clash site here on Runner Space. There were two more Nike Cross Regional meets this weekend, so there's five down, three to go. At the Nike South Regionals, every NXN qualifier was a Texan. Team champs on the guys' side were born champion boys who beat out the Woodlands 61-81. to The individual race had a surprise win by Ryan Donor with a 15-38. Pre-race favorite Craig Lutz was third with a 16-01. Girls team qualifiers were first place South Lake Carroll and second place Kingwood. Sarah Andrews of the Woodlands rolled to a convincing win with an 18-14. At the Nike Southwest Regional, Regional, the boys team race had a tie score of 74 points between American Fork of Utah and Albuquerque Academy of New Mexico. The American Fork boys came out on top though as their sixth man was ahead of Albuquerque Academy's six. The individual race was won by Wade Meadows of Nevada with a 15.08. The girls team race was won by Fort Collins, Colorado and the individual title went to Eleanor Fulton with a 17.45. On to some state meet action in the California Southern section, the Palos Verdes boys had the fastest combined team time with 1 hour 16 minutes 56 seconds. That was just faster than Dana Hills' 1.17.21. Amar Mosa and Elias Gedian won their respective divisions with fast times of 14.32 and 14.31. On the girls' side, number two ranked Saugus had the fastest combined team time of the day by a minute and 32 seconds. And lastly, the nation's number one ranked individual, Joe Rosa, ran an incredible 14.56 at the New Jersey Meet of Champs. It's the College Pro Rundown. Yes, there were a lot of national championships this weekend. At the NAIA National Championships, Cal State San Marcos won on the women's side with a score of 137 points. They beat out second place Biola by three points. The overall winner was Justina Moody of Shorter University with a time of 17.30. And the champions on the men's side were Malone University, they won with a very low 44 points. And our friends at Southern Oregon University, who were kind enough to introduce the show, were third. Nicely done, gentlemen. Now, on to the NCAA D1 Nationals. I think the question that's on everyone's mind is what happened to Jenny Berenger? The overwhelming pre-race favorite finished 163rd in the 6K women's race. She was leading the race with Florida State's Susan Kiken when in the 4th K, for no apparent reason, she began to drop and then later collapse. She then got back up and actually had a pretty strong finish. She stated after the race that she got lightheaded and didn't know how to run anymore. The early pace set by Berenger was also 
also too much for Kaiken as she started to drop in the last K and was overtaken by Angela Bazzari, who became this year's champion in a time of 1946. Kendra Schaaf of Washington was second. Previously, number two ranked Villanova ran very well, just as they've done all year long, and took home the team title with a solid 86 points. A good ways back in second was Florida State with 133 points, and previously number one ranked Washington was third. Oh, and also I have to mention, Colorado freshman Ellie McLaughlin was fifth overall with a time of 2001. On the men's side, Liberty junior Sam Chalonga destroyed the field. He took the race from the gun and ran the whole thing by himself, winning in an incredible course record time of 28.41. Chris Derrick and David McNeil battled most of the race for second, and David McNeil came out on top with a 29.06. Chris Derrick was third with a 29.14. On the men's team side, previously number one ranked Stanford suffered a huge upset. They finished 10th overall with a score of 3.54. The champions this year were Oklahoma State, who won with a score of 127. They were led by Ryan Vail, who finished 7th with a 29.41. And the Oregon men, who've had an up and down season, put it together on the right day and finished in second with a score of 143. It's the Road Racing Rundown. Okay, so it turns out Australian distance star Craig Mottram is not washed up. He made his return from a long Achilles injury this weekend by running the Chiba Ekaden Relay in Japan. He ran the first leg for the Australian team, which was a 5K, and finished with a time of 13.23. That was the fastest 5K split of the day. Despite giving his Australian team the lead, they finished in seventh. The relay was won by the Japanese team, who took the lead at the second leg and continued to extend it throughout the race. The Valencia Half Marathon was a fast one. Kenyan runners Jeffrey Matai and Wilson kept saying each dipped under the one hour mark. Matai finished in a time of 59.30 and Kip Sang was just three seconds back. Another Kenyan, Beatrice Jep Chumba, dominated the women's side with a time of 1.15.31. John Cruz of Rayleigh, North Carolina won the Philadelphia Marathon with a time of 2.17.15. He was the first American born man to win the Philadelphia Marathon since the year 2000. And Jetta Marilainen of Ottawa, Ontario won on the women's side in a time of 2.46.44. And lastly, Meb Kovleski has been gaining a lot of publicity after his win at the New York City Marathon. He recently had a great write up about him in the Wall Street Journal and will be writing on the Statue of Liberty float alongside. Miss America and the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And that's the rundown. Well, there you have it. That was a huge weekend for running. Now, Thanksgiving is tomorrow. I hope you didn't think I was going to let the episode go by without saying anything. Um, I always celebrate Thanksgiving, and what better way to do it than arts and crafts by tracing your hand and making a turkey. I actually have one made already. I figured I'd show it to you. There it is. Can we zoom in on that? Uh, no, of course we can't. I'm the cameraman and the host. But here it is. Happy Thanksgiving. Runner Space Live, signing out.